What goes up must come down, or so they say. Stay tuned to find out what made two Drag Race fan favorites fall from grace after one guest appearance. Next on Drag Race News Weekly. Hello, Drag Race fans. I'm Mark J. Freeman, also known to some as Lorraine Love. And I'm here to bring you the news, gossip, and tea of the RuPaul's Drag Race empire. But will you do me a quick favor? Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss a single moment of the drama, the fashion, and the fun of this cultural phenomenon. Now we all know becoming a Rue girl definitely has its advantages. More money, travel, name recognition, plus trips around the US and around the world. But it also can have its drawbacks, and one of those is that your every move is criticized. Recently, two legendary and fan favorite queens, Monet Exchange, winner of All Stars 4, as well as Miss Congeniality from season 11, Nina West, made a pit stop at The View. It was Meghan McCain's birthday, and these two queens showed up to make her an honorary Rue girl on air. Now, Twitter has exploded with condemnations for both queens, as a lot of the Drag Race fans are outraged that these two beloved queens would do this when so many Republicans are anti-LGBTQ. Meghan's husband in particular is notorious for blogging about his opposition to queer people, gay adoptions, or even trans rights. Twitter was buzzing with gifs and images of disappointment to frustration to even anger. One fan simply wrote, no! Okay, he wrote no about 50 times. Um, some others have vowed to unfollow and not even support these queens any longer. However, some semi-supported with comments like, I abhor the show, but I love you, Nina. Now, we assume these queens were paid to do the event, and some even seem to think that they're both under contract still with World of Wonder and were required to attend and make the appearance. But, as they say on the show, they were there because they wanted to thank ABC, The View, and all the women on the panel for giving them an opportunity this past June to come on and make drag, drag race, and drag queens more visible. And visibility matters. So regardless of your opposition to the queens for doing this event, as a community, we are now being represented on network television. And these steps are necessary for the next generation of our LGBTQ family members. And as RuPaul would say herself, everyone say love. Breaking news. As of October 22nd, 2019, gay marriage is officially legal in Northern Ireland. Not only is this great for the LGBTQ community, but for one Drag Race UK contestant, it's life-changing. Blue Hydrangea, who is still competing for the crown of UK's next drag superstar, recently discussed on the show how her and her longtime boyfriend were not able to marry in Northern Ireland. She spoke about how jealous she was that some of her other castmates were able to marry the ones that they love. Well, since the show was taped almost a year ago, it was within days of this episode airing that the laws in Northern Ireland changed and Blue and her beau can now officially tie the knot. It doesn't look like a date is set, but I can guarantee that this will be one celebration in Northern Ireland that will be talked about for years to come. Congrats to the LGBTQ community in Northern Ireland, and in particular, to one of the newest Rue Girls, Blue Hydrangea. Well, thanks for watching Drag Race News Weekly, and I hope you will tune in each week for even more news, gossip, and oh yes, definitely more tea. Feel free to share the news that you hear about with me on Twitter, at Lorraine Love. That's L-O-R-A-Y-N-E-L-O-V-E. That's all for now. Until next week.